Here's an example where I can show you how to find a raw score or an x value when we have a given z score. Now, before I get into it, um, I want to point out, first of all, that there's a fraction here for the z score. A lot of people don't like working with fractions. Um, I've got uh, a series of videos that talk about how to deal mathematically with fractions, but my advice would be if you ever see a fraction, take your fraction and get rid of it. Turn it into a decimal right away. How do you do that? Well, 1 over 5 is literally the same as 1 divided by 5. So just perform this calculation in your calculator and you'll see it comes out to be 0.2. It's much easier to deal with that than it is to try and work with fractions. So I'm just going to change this to z score of z equals to 0 0.2. Okay. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can have a look at uh, figuring out how to solve this. It says, given a distribution with, uh, with a sample mean of 40 and a sample standard deviation of 8, find the raw score corresponding to a z score of 0 0.2. Well, we have a formula for finding z scores in samples. It looks like, looks like this. But this is not set up to give us what we really need, which is something along these lines. We need a formula where we're getting the raw score. So it's going to be x is equals to something. So to get from this point down to this point, I need to isolate x. Again, um, I have some videos on how to do this algebraic rearrangement. So I'm going to leave the details or, or the rules aside. You can look those up, but I'm going to follow them here step by step. So you should be able to see how it is that I'm getting this done. Okay, so uh, first I'm going to multiply both sides by the standard deviation, and these will cancel. That leaves me with a formula z times s equals to x minus the sample mean. Now, I don't want to be minusing the sample mean, so I'm going to add it to both sides. These will cancel. And this gives me my formula. If all of this is equals to x, then x is equals to all of that. This is the formula that I'm going to use to get what they wanted, the raw score. So my raw score is equals to my sample mean plus my z-score times s. My sample mean is 40. My z-score, I know, is 0.2 and the standard deviation is 8. And so I believe that that 0.2 times 8 is 1.6, so this will be 41.6. So that is my raw score.